Hello, I'm Rick Barclay, and I'm with Piano Clubhouse, and today we are going to learn the song The Girl from Ipanema. Uh, it's a very popular uh, bossa nova jazz type song. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. It's in the key of F. F is this. F, G, A, B flat, C, D, E, F. Okay, um, this song has been done in <laughs> various different keys by recorded by various different artists, individuals. Um, what I will be playing to later um, in this tutorial is uh, the actual the original songwriter with Andy Williams, and they're doing it in the key of F. Um, I think there's an Amy Winehouse version that's in the key of F, but stylistically she's a little bit different than uh, what this is. I'm going to kind of you know be more the traditional bossa nova type feel, so that's why I've chosen this one. Um, as far as the key and uh, my example recording. Okay, so let me just uh, go ahead and play through the first section and uh, then we'll talk about the particulars. And then it goes to the B section after that. Um, this is borrowing from the AABA song form, uh, which typically a lot of jazz and Latin type music will use this as the form for writing the music. So I played through the A section or the verse twice, and then I stopped right before I was going to the B section, which they typically call the bridge. Okay, so let's talk about the melody first. Um, it starts on a G to an E to a D. And then basically teetering back. And then finally we get to an F, a different note, to a C, to a B flat. So most of the movement is going to be between the G, E, and D during that verse until the end part of it where you do have that F, C, and B flat. Okay, rhythmically speaking, it's very syncopated, uh, which uh, in bossa nova's Latin type music, it atypically is, meaning it's more upbeat driven uh, rhythms. And we're going to discover that here in just a minute. So it starts again on the G. One, two, and three, and four, and two, and, and four, and two, three, four, and. So as you can see, a lot of ands happening with that. Okay, chord-wise, it's an F major 7. So A, C, E, E natural, and a G. So technically, it's a 9 if you want to include that um, melodic note. makes it a 9. This right here is the 7, major 7. This becomes the 9. So technically, an F major 9. Okay, um, and then I went to uh, basically a G. G chord, G major, G, B, and D. And then we had G minor. So basically we take that B and we flat it. So G, B flat, and D. And then we had a G flat 7. So G flat, B flat, D flat. Technically this is F flat. Even though it does look like an E, it's technically an F flat. And then we went back to the F major 7 and G flat 7. So that what they call the first ending it was we landed there on that melodic note and then we just went up as a transition chord getting us back to playing the verse again. Okay so what I'm doing in my left hand is kind of a, a atypical bass bossa nova type. Basically one and five, except instead of going up like this, I'm going down. So an F to C, F to a C. Okay, and then I went up to the G. Again, I'm just 
toggling back and forth one and three. Still keeping on the G, even though it's G minor. So as you can see, my, my right hand melody is with my pinky. So then I went to a G flat in my left hand and a D flat. And then my right hand, I was just grabbing the, the C and the G flat. And then to the F major 7. So if you want to grab the E right there, you can. And then to Occasionally, one, two, and three. I'll do the and, and not just one, three, but one, two, and three, four, one, two, and three, four, and one, and three, and one. You can kind of vary it up. It doesn't have to always be the same. Um, and given the variances um, is actually kind of a cool thing. All right. Um, so that's basically the verse. Now here is a play through the bridge. A little more complex. Um, some different chords happening. back to the A section at that point. Okay, so um, a lot of interesting things happening here. So melodically we have an F and then G flat, F, E flat, F, E flat. And then we're going to, it's really a B7. Now we can look at this note as being um, a D flat, going to an E flat. Or we can look at it as C sharp to D sharp. I like to think of it as C sharp to D sharp. 